In this week's parasha of Chayei Sarah, Avraham sends his servant to search for a wife for Yitzchak. He sends him to Bethuel, his own family, for Yitzchak cannot marry a Canaanite. Avraham dissolves the servant from any commitment if the girl does not want to come back with him and not marry Yitzchak. The story of how Avraham sends his servant goes into detail. But what's more amazing is that after the servant meets Rivka and enters the tent with Lavan, he recounts, retells the story of how he met her, but even before then, of how Avraham sent him, what happened along the way, what happened at the well, how he met her. It goes into more detail when he's recounting the story than in the first portion where he is sent. And of course, the main point of the retelling of the story is that Hashem is the one that made it all possible. When the servant comes back with Rivka back to Yitzchak, the story is retold again. And so we're told it is, but it doesn't go into detail. But what's amazing is the fact that Hashem is given credit in much, much detail and to as many people as possible. And this teaches us, I think, and, you know, at a time where it's, it's difficult, it's difficult because of our ego to thank Hashem sometimes. And, get, and we usually get, give credit to ourselves. This story emphasizes how important it is to give credit to Hashem when credit is due. He made us, He created us, He gave us our abilities. He directs the world. And not only should we thank Him inside when we receive something, whether good or bad in our eyes, everything is justified up above. We should thank Him and tell the stories, recount the stories, and give Hashem credit for everything. For He is our Maker, and He drives us forward. And if we do so, and we share those stories, without embarrassment, but with pride and with joy, we will receive much more from Him than He can ever receive from us. Shabbat Shalom.